Hey, how's it going guys? Technotus here and I want to give you guys a quick update on iOS 11.2.1. Now Apple just released this update a few minutes ago and it's going to be coming in at roughly about 67 megabytes if I can recall it properly. So with this update coming in at around 70 megabytes in total, it does take an approximate 30 minutes to install for some odd reason. I think it's just because the server is jamming up at the moment and Apple really recommends everybody to download this bug right now if they are using HomeKit. Now the notes say that this fixes bugs including an issue that could disable remote access access. So Apple personally disabled remote access on your HomeKit devices temporarily from the last couple days because they did find another bug that was pretty much like the root access bug that came on the MacBook Pro recently. And this was disabled remotely by Apple temporarily until the fix came out. So here today, Apple just released iOS 11.2.1 just to do exactly that. So there's nothing new with this update at all other than the fix for the specific bug. So Apple pretty much disabled it in their previous update. And now they just re-enabled again with all the bugs included here. So we should be good to go. I don't personally use HomeKit at all. So there's nothing to worry about for me. But for the rest of you guys, if you guys do have it installed, just keep a lookout and install this update as soon as you can. To update your device, all you have to do is just head into software updates and click on the software updates button. And if you guys don't see it available on your device, just restart it. That's why I had to do. And if you were on a beta of iOS 11.2, for some odd reason, it didn't show the update as being available. So what you have to do is go inside generals, scroll down to the bottom, device management and remove your beta profile right there. So once you have that removed, all you do is just turn off your device, restart it up and go into software updates and it should be available right there. As I did mention, it does come in at roughly about 70 megs. So it might be a little bit quicker now as the server is a little bit less bogged down. I am updating all my other devices as we speak right now, but so far so good. Nothing new has changed here. I haven't really had the experience of battery life yet. I was hoping I was 11.2.1 would actually fix battery life on my 10, but we'll have to see. I'll give you guys an update as I keep using it for the next couple of days. But just looking at the size of the update, I don't expect anything new to come with this update. So this should be it for this video, guys. Just a quick little update for you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, remember to hit that subscribe button, that like button. Peace out.